everyone, it's Alicia, and I'm very excited to finally have Tanil Dashwood on right. the show. Hello. We tried to do this before, we didn't get to it. But we're here. We're right here. It's a pretty amazing night to be doing an interview because we're here at All In. You're yeah. just out there during the women's four way doing some commentary, so tell me your thoughts on the entire night. It's a whole new role for me. Commentary? Ooh. Yeah, something different. Uh, it's a huge night. The crowd is like crazy mm -hmm. out there. Um, I, mean, I wish I could get in the ring, but obviously, well, hopefully, there's more events like this. And um, yeah, I was so excited for these women to have this huge opportunity. They killed it. I had goosebumps watching. I love being a fan too, so yeah, it's a special night for me too. You mentioned getting in the ring, and very soon on an upcoming ROH pay per view, you actually have a title shot. You're going to be facing Sumi, so what's going through your mind? I mean, that's massive. Yeah, it's in Vegas, the Fort Dishonor, Ring of Honor. She actually called me out and said that. Um, they were changing it to a, a world championship, and before she does that, she this one person she has to face, and that's me. So, I mean, it's, I mean, great, it's great that she called it her, right? <laughs> because I've been waiting for this opportunity to have this championship match, and um, Vegas is the perfect place to do it because I can go out and celebrate straight after. <laughs> I have to say, even though it gets a lot of heat, I love Evil Emma because I feel oh, like you have you. this very cheeky side to you, and I mean this in the best of ways. You're a bit of a smartass. I'm really smart. Love that. Is I'm that sarcastic. I have what? a very dry sense of humor. A lot of people think I don't like them when I meet them. Sometimes I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's just me. That's yeah. just me, and that kind of translates into the Evil Emma, which I kind of love that everyone named me Evil, evil Emma. Evil Emma, right? Straight to the point. Yeah, it works. Okay. Does that kind of come from your love of Stone Cold Steve Austin? Oh my God. I love him. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, he's, he's kind of the king of He's a badass. People love him. He does what he wants. That's me. Let's do what I want. <laughs> Screw everyone. <laughs> I mean, that mentality definitely goes to the whole it's all about me yeah. uh, persona. Yeah. So, when was the first time you decided, hey, I'm going to come out with this? I mean, it's branded everywhere. I love it. Um, I think it all kind of was a transition over time, um, being, uh, I guess, wanting opportunities, being frustrated with not having that chance to go out and show what I can do. Um, my time throughout NXT and WWE and then transitioning back to NXT, which was the change of character when I turned on Bailey. She deserved it. <laughs> and then that was just the whole transition over time. And then obviously all the frustration built up and it's like, come on, like where the hell is my opportunity? Yeah. And I was like, real life, like, I just want to get out there and wrestle, just like all these other girls. Like, let me do it. And the thing is, I think all of us watching at home too, we're like, we know she can wrestle super well. Why isn't she kind of given that platform? I mean, as a viewer, that's Thank definitely you. you're welcome. I love wrestling. It's, it's in my blood. It's um, I have wrestled since I was young. Like a lot of the girls, and never got to tell that tell that story. Like they did, like Bailey, like Sasha, like you know. And actually, I came from Australia and didn't have anything behind me. So you know, it's like I just wanted to to show my side of it, my story, my passion for wrestling. Mm -hmm. But you're definitely able to do that. Now I'm doing it. Right? Right? So, Does that feel so, so fulfilling? Everything's good. Everything comes around and everything happens for a reason. I believe that. Well, one thing I definitely wanted to ask when we finally got you on the show is do you miss Taste of Tenille? Yes. You do? I love Taste of Tenille. Actually, every, um, I've been doing Starcast all weekend yeah. and I can't believe how many people, when they come up to me, ask when I'm doing it again. Really? It's been, I think, two years since yeah. I did an episode. And I did it in uh, back when I lived in an apartment. Now I have a house too. It's like so much has changed since then. But I used to like set up my own cameras and film myself and edit the videos. I had no idea what I was doing. Um, watch tutorials on YouTube. And anyway, it took me forever to like get one episode together. But it was like a little project I did, and I wanted to like kind of connect with the fans and kind of show me outside of the ring because I think you know that, like that's just giving back to it's them and, and interacting with them and you know showing like things I like cook and my health and what's important to me and and um, I was pleasantly surprised when people enjoy that and they ask me if I'm going to do it again so the goal is to I don't know if it's going to be the exact same but to bring back a version of, or an evolved version of Taste of Tenille. Okay. Hopefully. Um, but yes, with a bit of help, someone editing and filming me or something, <laughs> so I'm not taking 10 years to release so every like, episode. You know what you're doing. I show up, I do stuff, everyone yeah, looks Yeah, just film me and watch me cook. Work, and then someone can clean too, maybe. Or maybe I'll get someone to clean for me. <laughs> just boss them around. Yeah. You're used to that. Used to that. that. Go. <laughs> but one that. of the beautiful things about wrestling is how it takes you all over the place. And you're a self coined adventurer. But is I there anywhere traveling. is there anywhere you'd love to travel that you've yet to? Oh my gosh, so many places. Um I wanna go to Turkey. Um, I wanna go to Greece. I wanna go all over Europe really. I mean there's so many places. Um I went to Australia on tour in New Zealand recently. I had a blast. Uh, New Zealand is absolutely beautiful. I did an awesome show there for SPW and wrestled for MCW back in Melbourne, my hometown, cool. and, and some other places in Sydney. So it was just really cool to go home. And now, like, there's always places I want to go overseas and travel and wrestle and all my favorite things all in one. So 
There's lots to come. Awesome. Yeah. We'll just wrap things up. I do want to leave it with the fans viewing, kind of circling it all back. Okay. Anything you want to say? I want to say, nothing. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I want to say um, I'm having the time of my life wrestling on the independent circuit, wrestling with Ring of Honor, traveling the world, and I'm so grateful that you guys have stuck with me through all this. Um, meeting all of you now in person at the meet and greets is like added bonus. So thank you. Thank you for having me on the thank show. So Finally, much. we got to do it. Um, and if I haven't met you yet, come to a show, come to a meet and greet, come say hi. I'm friendly sometimes, all the time. <laughs> no, thank you guys. Honestly, I appreciate thank it. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you so Thanks. much. And remember, everyone here, you can visit us at alishatu.com for all exclusive interviews and, and teachers. It's all about me. See you next time. <laughs>